But Plymouth did seem to be dripping with luxury yachts, so perhaps we could, you know, borrow one. We discovered the reason there's so many is because they're built here and the manufacturer's head office is in the harbour. Let's hope Rory's appearance doesn't clash with their, you know, Monte Carlo image. I don't know what I've started now because they've gone off to find another boat altogether. They've decided this is no good. And, uh, well, I mean, a bigger boat would just be a calamity, wouldn't it? We couldn't get this tiny thing into the dock without smashing it into about five or six other things. You're a high net worth individual, OK? We're moving on. We're moving out of the frying pan into the fire. Now, that's what's happening. Well, actually, we're here on behalf of a, of a, of a client, client of ours. Client, client yeah. of ours, yeah. Well, he's a sort of friend. No, he's friend a very, of an engagement. Yeah, yeah. yeah, a client. Right. A working colleague. Quite a rich person. Right. High net worth individual. Very high net worth. As you can tell from us. We can't mention his name. Griffiths okay. Jones. Right. We, and <laughs> he's very interested in your boat. Right. I've now changed my mind completely and decided that this would be the best boat to take us to the Silly Isles. If we just did something about the skipper... It's but you, you want to have a look at a boat? And yeah, and, boat? Then, and maybe take it out. Yeah. Well, yeah. Is there a way we can just sort of go for out. a sail in it for, I don't know, an hour, a month, a week? It <laughs> depends. Just so Griff gets a fit. Did I mention his name then? Yeah. Um, gets a <laughs> feel of it. Uh, this is a nice place down the Cornish coast called Foy. Could we do that in a...? So you'd want the boat for about 24 hours? If you say That'd so, yeah. Great. Or, or we can fine. just drive very fast. Yes. That's a very long sea yeah. trial. Is it? Um, I mean, I, you can I'd have the... to go and find out if we can do let you have a boat for that long festival. For my part, as Otis Redding once put it, I'm sitting on the dock of the bay, wasting time. Is this the way we're doing this? Are we just going to, like, buy boats all the way down the coast? I think so. Well, let's see how far we get in this one. After a bit of negotiation, the yacht company agreed to the extended sea trial. Of course, with his love of sail, I'm not sure how Griff would take it. You must look at the boats some people arrive in and say, well, they clearly aren't high roller. Griff, how are you? I'm fine. This is our boat. This is the boat we arrived in. Very nice. Yes, yeah, great, isn't it? <laughs> Very nice. Griff, we've upgraded. This is our old boat. And unless I'm greatly mistaken, our new boat. Shooters? Shooters. Shooters, OK, a yeah. Princess, how lovely. Is the intention that you might come with us or you're going to trust us? Uh, no, I'm going to trust you with... Yeah. The boat and a skipper. Yeah, so and a skipper. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. The catch yeah. is, Griff, have you got eight hundred thousand pounds in cash? Is that? Tell me, is that how much they are? Uh, just over nine hundred. Oh, that I thought one. cash discount. Ca <laughs> At last, a boat I could actually stand up in. Oh, this is nice. Oh lord, it's jet driven. Is it or what? No, it's props. Two props oh, on two charts. Props. Right. And has it got a bow thruster? Yeah, we've got a bow thruster control just here. So are you just, are, is this yours now? Have you got your own? Yeah, and this is I I bagsy this. Okay. Bagsy. Right. And Lord Bagsy on the ocean. Lord <laughs> Bagsy is oh no, hang on. Hang ah. on. <laughs> ah, this boat is rubbish. Who are your customers in Average? Who are such they? a broad range of people, local mm. businessmen, uh, uh, plumbers, bricklayers. <laughs> Were they designed with the Mediterranean in mind? Dominantly, yes. Mo yes. Most of the bed, uh, boats do go to the uh, Med. Right. They, How do um, they get there? Do they go on a lorry or do they somebody... Sometimes they go on a ship. Many people do take them themselves round. So, people buy this boat yeah. then put it onto a ship yeah. and the ship brings it on the water to the Mediterranean. Mm. It's taken off yeah. the ship. Mm. Mm. And shall I tell you why, Dora? I'm going to make a little guess here. How, if you drive at top speed for an hour in this boat... Yeah. How much did that cost me in fuel then? Thousand pounds, yeah, five hundred thousand pounds, depending so on the So a thousand pounds yeah. an hour. So how, how long to find then? Do you reckon from here? Uh, about Twelve. an hour, okay. depending on conditions. Yeah. So we could do this in an hour. Can I just ask a question before yep. we borrow it? Has it visited the uh, fuel station recently? Yes, it has. It's full oh, of it fuel. Oh, it's full of fuel. Oh, good. Ready to go. Yeah. Please enjoy good. it. Do you want to buy the other boat? <laughs> 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 It had fallen to Skipper Giles to make sure that three men didn't smash up the million-pound yacht. Poor man. He was particularly nervous when he heard what our first boat had been through. That's the bit Sorry. Rory hit just there. Did yeah. Rory hit that? Just... It's not steering at the moment, is it? You're not steering at the moment, are you? That's your bit there. That little gent there. 
We are headed to Foy, some 24 miles down the coast. In my old boat, the Tamar, that would have taken us four hours, but in shooters, it would be much quicker. I've driven bigger, by the way. <laughs> Am I turning? No, I haven't hit anything yet. <laughs> but, you know, it's early days. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It looks beautiful. Oh, yeah, it is cool. incredibly cold. Yeah. It is still October. It's still October cold. and cold. And shelter long he live, and shelter long he die. Here's 20,000 Cornish men will know the reason why. An hour or so and an insane amount of fun later, we were in Foy, gateway to Cornish smugglers. Welcome to Cornwall, or as they say in Cornwall, Welcome to Cornwall. Excellent. Drink your champagne before it freezes over. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? I quite like the tape. I have almost entirely wiped it from my mind. I almost entirely wiped it from the panic. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's stop being objective. Which boat would you prefer to stay the night on? Oh! At least we get, we get two rooms each on this. <laughs> it's not bad for a boat, is it? We get a toilet each. As opposed to the potty that was nailed to the floor <laughs> of the Tamar. Yes. Lift up your mattress yeah. and go. Tremendously exciting, actually, to make this landfall if you're of a literary bent. And I am bent, as Rory will tell you. The river that we're actually sitting and clunking about in is the very river that the Wind of the Willows was based on, because I always assumed that the wind in the willows was set on the Thames. But I discovered that Graham used to come here, who, Graham, that's the man who wrote it, used to come here as a boy, and that Toad and Ratty and Bowley, instead of floating up and down, you know, between bits of Berkshire, actually were floating up and down in, near Foy. Fascinating. It was very, it is, it's a very, very romantic place. It's just pity to come here in such an unromantic boat, really, honestly. Sleeping, it's a bit like sleeping in a in a superior travel lodge. In here. <laughs> it's nice! I like it! It's lovely, Dara, but it's just so antiseptic. Fantastic. I feel like I'm in a sort of, you know, in a very well-appointed cupboard. Next morning, and a luxury breakfast. But also the dawning realisation that saying goodbye to the princess would leave us without a boat for the next leg of the journey. The only plan that Rory had was to visit some old drinking buddies. We were at the mouth of the Foy River, which used to be famous for its imports of smuggled goods, but nowadays is more noted for its exports of china clay in these huge barges. We wanted to get further upriver to meet Rory's friends at the famous Sawmills Recording Studios. The princess wouldn't make it, so we needed something smaller. Luckily, the yacht had one more surprise up her rear. High tech and super fast, so perfect. This is the baby princess. Giles, thank you for well, everything. It's been, it's been an pleasure. absolute pleasure. Thank and thanks you. for all your help and support. And it's been very entertaining. And we'll get the boat back to you. Don't worry. Giles had agreed that we could use his little motorboat to cross to the other side of the river, where a friend of his restored and built rowing boats. We could then row up the foy to sawmills, just like Ratty, Moly and Toad. Dara and I could argue about who was Moly and Toad, but it was clear who was Ratty. What happens when we get to the boatyard? Does anybody know what we're doing? I think we're just rowing. I, don't know. Oh, right. I thought the idea was we'd have a little race. With each other? Yeah, three quarters of a mile. That's idea. Yeah. Now, they lean forward a little bit as we get a little bit faster. We're only doing that. Oh, 